once again, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about forgiveness. I know this is a very common topic. As Christians, we're supposed to forgive, move on. But I want to emphasize to you about forgiving and completely forgiving and letting go. In the New Testament, God says, love God with all your heart, mind and soul. And also, it goes on to say, love one another. So that means as much as you love God, you're also supposed to love one another. We focus so much on loving God, but we also forget to love our neighbors, love one another. Forget about loving. Can we even forgive the ones that has hurt us? Can we even forgive the ones that has betrayed us? Can we forgive the ones that has spoken ill against us? Now that is a real testing. But God is saying, just like I have forgiven you, you have to forgive them. So God, but what do you mean? They have hurt me. They have betrayed me. They have spoken bad about me. They are planning ill things against me but God says I know that but I still need you to forgive them see when Peter asked Jesus how many times should I forgive definitely he had some issues with whoever he had to forgive and so he was finding it hard to forgive he was holding this grudge in his heart and that is why Jesus looks up to him and says 70 times 7 and then Jesus goes on to explain about the story about a king and the servant and how the servant had to pay him some debts but the king had compassion on him and forgave him but then when the servant went out after receiving forgiveness when he had another fellow servant who had to pay him money he did not show that same kind of forgiveness that he received from his master even after the fellow servant begged him just like he had begged his master to forgive him for his debts the fellow servant asked this servant for forgiveness and he did not forgive him and when the master found out saying when you begged me I forgave you but you couldn't forgive your fellow servant when he begged you to forgive his debts so the Bible goes on to say, this is the same way that your heavenly father is going to judge you. If you're going to hold unforgiveness against your brother, then God is going to hold unforgiveness against you. For example, if anybody comes to you and asks for forgiveness and says, look, I have sinned. Who are you to hold that against them? Now, even if nobody asks for forgiveness, you still need to free your heart because it is not for them, it is for you. I'm sure you've heard of this saying that when you are not forgiving someone, it's like drinking poison. It poisons your heart. It affects your heart. It affects your bone. It affects your health because there is so much bitterness. I have known of a lady, she was known for her foul mouth if I may say. She had so much unforgiveness against everybody. Everybody had hurt her in so many ways according to her and she could never see the best in another human. She always saw the worst in others and so it's almost like she was filled with anger and unforgiveness and I have told God, God please help this woman because I feel so bad what is going to happen to her because of how much anger and bitterness she had. So child of God, is there anybody in your heart that you have to forgive? Listen, it does not matter what they have done. Before the eyes of God, you have to go to the Lord and say, God, I want to forgive this person. It is hard. Let me bring you some more scriptures. Ephesians 4.32 says, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgive you. Remember the story of the master and the servant. Colossians 3.13, bearing one another and if one has a complaint against one another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 says, love does not keep a record of wrongdoings. So that means when you have unforgiveness in your heart, you're basically keeping a record of them. You're basically having them in your memory. You're basically remembering all the things they have done wrong to you. But the Bible says, love does not keep a record of wrongdoings. So child of God, when you forgive someone you cannot keep a record of all their mistakes when you forgive them you have to erase that record you cannot have those memories in your mind you have to ask the Lord Lord erase those painful memories that causes you to hold grudges against them when you find there was injustice and you want
on, take them to the court and, and provoke them and do whatever it takes. God says, no, let it go. Love does not keep a record of wrongdoings. So what is the correct way of loving? If you can read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, it says, love does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil. So when somebody is trying to provoke you, you do not easily get provoked because of love. Just because somebody is rude to you, you do not act rudely back to them. And the Bible goes on to say, love thinks no evil. So even if they are the most meanest person, you cannot think evil of them because that does not come under love category. That comes under hate category. And then it goes on to say in verse Six, love does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. So when you see that the person that has hurt you is suffering and is going through a hard time, do not rejoice because that is not love. In fact, if anything, it should bother you. And verse 13, and now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. So if you want to know what true forgiveness is, just meditate on these verses and see if you have these things in your heart. If you're trying to justify in your mind for what they did and for the things that they deserve and for the things that they have done wrongly to you, you need to know that just like Christ forgive you, you have to release them and let go of them and have no record of wrongdoings and do not think evil of them and do not rejoice in their fall, but indeed let go. And when you forgive, you are honoring God and you're honoring his word and you will bring pleasure to the heart of God. Here, if you notice these three verses I spoke about, God is saying, look, Forgive because I have forgiven you. So God is saying, yes, they were not nice to you. They were mean to you. There was injustice, but I need you to forgive them just like the way God has forgiven you because we are all sinners in need of forgiveness. You and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God's mercy over our lives. If it wasn't for God pardoning our sins, forgiving us, we all are supposed to be deserving death. We all are supposed to be not surviving, but God kept showing us mercy. God kept forgiving us. God keeps forgiving us. In fact, every time we go to him and we repent, God says, I forgive you. But you, are you willing to do the same thing to your fellow humans? So people of God, I just want to give you this warning. Let go, move on, make it right with your church people, with your family members, with your friends, with your enemies, with whoever that hates you. I'm not saying go and build a relationship, but I'm saying in your heart, forgive them. Tomorrow when they come to you, your heart has to be free. Your heart has to not hold any grudge against them. You should not think the worst of them. You should not have any ill wishes against them. It doesn't matter if they honor you, celebrate you, or love you. You have to still forgive them and move on. Because remember, it is an un wanted weight that you have to carry and it is not worth it especially when we are closer to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ leave the past behind forgive those who have hurt you and let the love of God overpower you if you are struggling to forgive somebody I want you to pray this prayer after me Dear Jesus, I bring this matter into your hands, Lord. Lord, I am struggling to forgive this person. And I want you to mention by their name. If there is more than one, mention them by their name. And Lord, help me to forgive this person because just like you have forgiven me, Lord, help me to forgive this individual. Lord, I do not want to carry this weight of unforgiveness in my heart, bitterness in my heart. I want to be free. Lord, set my heart free. Help me to release and let go of them. Release my heart from anger, from grudge and ill wishes. And Lord, 
I forgive them from my heart and I release them, Lord. Lord, I thank you because just like you have forgiven me, I will forgive them and I have forgiven them. Lord, I thank you for giving me the strength to forgive my fellow beings. Lord, help me to not ponder about them. Help me to move on and start fresh. Lord Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you because I know that this will please your heart. And I want to do everything to keep you happy, to please you, my master. All this I ask in Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer sincerely with your heart, I'm telling you, it is a new chapter for you. It's a new season for you. God is going to give you grace. Your grace will be multiplied. You shall smell the flowers again. Things shall shift again. That is the beauty of forgiveness. The beauty of releasing is when you can experience that freedom in your heart. If this word has ministered to you, please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe so that many others can be blessed through these videos. Till we meet again, God bless and Shalom.